Uh, good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. Could you uh, please state your name and spell your last name? Sure. Jennifer McCabe, M-C-C-A-B-E. And uh, where do you live, ma'am? Canton. And uh, how long have you lived in Canton? Um, approximately 20, well, my whole life, um, I lived in Canton, except when I first got married, I lived in Stoughton for a year or two. And um, where do you live currently in Canton? How long have you lived there? Um, I live at uh, 12 Country Lane, and I've lived there about 10 years. And uh, prior to that, where did you live in Canton before Country Lane? Um, 15 Sutcliffe Ave in Canton. And how long did you live on Sutcliffe? Uh, approximately 10 years. And with regard to both uh, addresses, who, who, if anyone, do you live there with? I live there with my husband, Matt, and my four daughters. And uh, how old are your four daughters? Um, 15, 16, 18, and 20. See if you can see any signs of lying. At some point, does uh, the defendant get on the phone with you? She does. And what, if any, conversation do you have with her at that point? She proceeds to scream my name multiple times, and she tells me that John didn't come home, they got into a fight, and that she left him at the waterfall. And how do you respond? I had just woken up. I was, I was confused. I didn't know what she was talking about. I was trying to, I was like, what? What are you talking about? And then she you know, told me that they had gotten into a fight, and she left him there, and now where is he? No, I was sitting eating dinner, and some of the things obviously I overheard, but I was not even. I'm saying there's a possibility if I'm sitting in this room eating dinner and someone's in another room talking, you can hear bits and pieces. Was I eavesdropping? No. Is there some big cover up story? No. <laughs> so that is a nice place for us to get started, right? It's unbelievable unbelievable how her body language is so uh impressive and so strong in this trial right she's she's showing an extreme amount of um excessive blinking uh she has the lip licking going on and when he hits this point that aggravates her her right hand goes up her whole body goes from being uh, having a nice posture to going uh, forward like this, almost as a confrontational invitation. Like, let's fight. Let's fight, bro. That's not what I'm saying. Establishing where the Jeep is uh, is important because um, either she's lying about what she saw out front, which we know she's lying about that. Uh, but it also established, it could establish that it was impossible for Karen Reed to run over John O'Keefe while his Jeep was there. I believe it to be impossible. Certain things that she does that created this passive aggressive manipulator image in my head are she, sometimes she doesn't understand, but a lot of times she pretends she doesn't understand and she, she, she Oh, it's irritating to me. So here's the first time that she asked for a document to refresh her memory, because she needs to look at it to figure out how do I keep this lie straight? Because Jackson knows the truth. Now she's going to try to look at this. I got to, I got to look at documents. I need to know what I said. I need to know where the positioning of all this stuff is. So he's making her do mental gymnastics right now, major mental gymnastics. Now he's catching her. And, and this is where it goes into this whole thing. Like, I got to look at documents. I got to look at documents. And my first opening statement in this live tonight was what? If you need to continuously look at documents to refresh your mind about what you said to investigators, what you put on the record, and what you said to a federal grand jury, then you are lying about something because you can't keep your lies straight. Now she's showing her real reactions, her character. I don't know this lady. I don't know if this lady is lying or not. All I can tell you is that by watching her, I felt uh, an excessive amount of anger and passive aggressiveness. And at the end, 
even manipulation. So we've got two very different accounts. Carrie Roberts account was that uh, when they were looking at the tail light, it wasn't as chaotic. Jen McCabe's account was that um, I think she embellished her account to be fair, uh, saying that she could not see the taillight because of the snow. So which one is true? One saw a lot and the other one hardly saw anything. So that's a bit worrying. And Trooper Proctor asked you some very specific questions about where things were, correct? Correct. Focused on Miss Reed's SUV, didn't he? Asked you questions about where Miss Reed's SUV was. If you was. can show me in the report. Just read it. <coughs> so just off of what I just read, is that what you're going off, off of? Yes? I'm asking for you. He's saying uh, we got the person who is deceased. We got the victim's phone. We looked at his phone records and there were like a bunch of missed calls from you. We looked at your phone and they were not there. How come? And she's like, well, there's a lot of phone numbers here. Can I see the report? I don't understand this report. Come on. Like pretending that you're dumb. Are you dumb, Mrs. McCabe? Jen is a feisty one. She really is. I got to tell you. And she knew she was up against it big time. But you know, Lally has got to try to rehabilitate this woman just on today. Just on today. He's got to try to rehabilitate her. I don't know how the hell he's going to do it, but you're going to know after that, there'll be redirect. She, in one basic five minute dissertation, ruined Lally. How is she, how is Lally going to rehabilitate that woman tomorrow? The other worrying um, issue I had was that Jen McCabe said, you know, she even detailed it more, saying that Carrie Roberts rushed them in the house. Um, so that was completely different and didn't match up with the ring camera. Jen McCabe also embellished the story of when Karen first called her and she said that Karen told her that her and John O'Keefe had a fight. Given the number of deception indicators, I'm not sure that Karen Reed had said that. It also appears like Jen McCabe is stretching the truth or to insinuate, I should say, that Karen Reed is guilty of something. Whereas Carrie Roberts, when she tells her account, it's more like uh, Karen Reed was worried about everything. In my opinion, guys, just my opinion, I think that uh, it's bad news for Jennifer McCabe. I think that's probably very good news for Karen Reed. And I do have to say that out of all the people that I've talked to in this case, Everyone that I've talked to in this case, even the people on the different sides who disagree, everybody seems to be genuinely seeking justice for John O'Keefe. 